Hey guys, today I'm decluttering my closet. As you can see, I tried to push it to the side before I started the video. But this is all the tiny little bit of space that I have. So I definitely need to declutter because I need to pull out some clothing. It is just way too tight inside here. So let's just begin. There is not much of an order, but I think dresses still try to be around this area. I know that most of my shots are below, which later we'll do the one below. So we're doing two railings today. Alright, so the first dress over here is what I would call a CNY dress. So this is how it looks like all the way to the bottom. It is a long like midi kind of length dress. Oh yeah, I can see why I call it CNY because of this part here that looks a bit like a chong sum and it's a high collar. There's a back zip, there's beautiful buttons. This is the first piece and I'm gonna declutter it because we're not gonna be around for CNY. So there is no point, I will never wear this if not for the upcoming year. And I didn't want to wear this kind of dress for when I go out for dinners with my husband. It's a little bit too formal, so I'm going to be getting rid of this one. Next up, I have this dress that I love and I really wore it for a holiday. So I know it works for me, I'm going to be keeping this. Hopefully it gets better when we declutter because now I'm still trying to squeeze it back in. Now I have this piece here that is like a golden champagne dress. It goes down like this. It is like a clubbing slash wedding dress. I went to a wedding and I didn't wear this dress. So I think I'm going to get rid of it. I think out of all the dresses that I have, this is not a choice that I would want to wear to a wedding. Although it looks good, but it's just a bit too... Slutty, I guess. So I'm going to be getting rid of this dress. Uh, it fits so perfectly and it's so comfortable. But I realized that there's a slit here. And uh, God forbid there's any wind. So let's just get rid of this. The next dress I have is this one that I love. It is too tight for me. So eventually I might declutter. But for now, I'm going to squeeze myself into it. Oh, let's look at some jeans so that we can make some space. This first hanger is my jeggings because they are jeans, legging, they are kind of a thicker quality too. And these were my work pants and I obviously haven't touched them or reached for them ever since the work stopped. And my husband says that it probably will not start again so I can feel good enough to get rid of them. Also, like I really use them, like crawl, a lot, crawl around the wooden plank on the inside the van, so I feel like I have wood spikes on some of them. <laughs> this one is a better quality, thicker one. It's from the brand Coco. I mean, they both look the same with pockets on the back. And then this one is a thinner one, but still not sheer. And this is how it looks like. I'm gonna get rid of both because I just don't feel like I will wear jeggings. This one over here is jeans. Oh yeah, okay, I'm definitely getting rid of this one because this is another one of my work black jiggings. And then this one, I love this, but I don't think I can fit in this anymore. I thrifted this a few years back when we went to US for honeymoon. And I loved it because it's grey colour. And this one is Banana Republic and I don't have a colour like this. So I loved it so much, but I knew when I bought it, it was already a little bit too tight. So... I think there's no way I can wear this, but someone can enjoy this. Such good quality Banana Republic jeans. Alright, let's see if we can also declutter this hanger. This one over here... Oh, okay, this one is my Forever 21 jeans. And I remember in my previous declutter videos, I said that I would never declutter it because it's one of my first few pairs of jeans and like more expensive clothing that I bought. Expensive, like it was 20 bucks, but... I just feel like it's getting tighter and tighter for me so someone else can enjoy it. And then this is another pair of jeans. I still have more blue jeans there so I think I will get rid of this. This is the misunderstood brand and yeah it's just like generic blue jeans again. I'll get rid of this too. I have pants over here. This is my one leggings, jeggings, pants type pants that were too big for me. But I think now it fits me because I feel like oh, just like overnight my hips grew, my shoulders grew and everything is just bigger now. <laughs> so I'm going to keep that. Whatever that's too big for me, I'll keep. Whatever that's just nice or too small, I know I'll never fit in it again. And then I have this pair of pants here that I did try on uh, at the previous house move. So I know that it's still pretty recent. I think I still can wear it. And then this one is just like a trousers and a black and white, I guess, dot dot. <laughs> I'm just going to keep it, but if I don't wear it down the road because it looks quite formal, 
then I'll get rid of it then. Eh, I almost put it in the declutter pile. Alright, this jeans. I think this is the hanger with jeans that I can fit and I can keep. Uh, let's see. Yes, this one is the hanger with this pair of jeans that I know is high-waisted and was a bit too big for me, so now it's perfect. And then this one on it means that it is its companion, means that I still can wear it. Yeah, and it's just a generic blue jeans. I think this one is from Cotton On. We just have two long dresses over here that you can kind of see. Like, I cannot even pull it out. Okay, trying not to snag any fabric. This is a long dress, and then this one is a shorter one, which is a midi dress. I'm going to keep both. Okay, this one over here I love and I will look through later on. I think I have a grey piece that's the exact same cutting. I don't know why it's not beside it. But I love this. Like, I thought I would never ever get rid of it. But I just don't reach for it. I just don't wear it because it's a crop top. And I'm trying to phase out all the crop tops in my closet because I find that I just don't reach for them. So even though it's breaking my heart, I'm going to offer it to my friend. And maybe she'll like it because she would wear crop tops more than me. This is just like a generic t-shirt. I'm just gonna keep this. Well, I'm very, uh, my muscles are very achy from trying to reach in. So this next thing was a dress. I'm just gonna keep this one because I still like it a lot. Ah, this is the other top. This one is grey in colour. It's the same cutting. I'm gonna get rid of this too. I have the red one but I don't know where it is. I don't think I got rid of it yet. But when I find that, I'll also offer it to my friend. This is just like two dresses. This one is a long floral dress. I love this and this is just a generic black dress and yeah it's like one of the rare few LBDs that work for me so I'll just keep it. Alright another bunch here. This one I'm gonna get rid of it because there's so much white and that is my only and first thought. That is my first thought whenever I look at this is that oh, there's too much white and you know I hate white clothing so I'm gonna get rid of this Sunday crop top again anyway so oh. It's like the softest material but and then now we just have like a pink dress which I'll keep it is kind of reminding me of the other blue dress this one over here I think I'll get rid of this one because this is my Christmas top so I find that I only wear it during Christmas period but then if I don't wear it Christmas period then I'll never wear it so I think I'll just get rid of it I don't wear it often enough it is just this like checkered Christmas top we have all oh, just like a generic black t-shirt that literally just came into my closet. I haven't even worn it yet. Doesn't that look like a stain there? This What's that? Oh, wow, I'm not seeing it in real life, but I can see it on the phone. <laughs> so this other t-shirt is just a Polo Ralph Lauren shirt that I just wore once. And I think I'll wear it again. The pile is getting bigger, but it doesn't feel like there's more space. So let's see, ah, this is a dress that I love, it's just like a bird floral dress. I feel like it is very pretty on the outside, but inside, there's a lot of strings. So it probably will not survive anymore, like more and more washes. So I'm just gonna enjoy it till then. This top, it always falls off the hanger and I never really reached for it. I think I thrifted this in Hong Kong and it is just like a cami like this. It is like a lace type cami and I just find it like... I have no idea where to wear this to. I guess if you are like 18 and you go to a club, maybe you can wear this. So I have no use for this. Next, we have... Oh, another pair of pants. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this because I bought it and I still haven't worn it yet. So I need to give it a chance. And then last two tops over here. This floral top I'm going to be keeping because it is like the most breezy top ever but this t-shirt I think I'm gonna get rid of it's just a little bit too childish it is Chocolate Chocolate which I feel like is a brand that I've heard of but it's just like a dinosaur t-shirt which is the dinosaur from Toy Story yeah so I'm just gonna get rid of it I feel that it's too green next chunk here I have this one which is a grey colour top that I loved I had it since forever and I will keep it forever Maybe I shouldn't say that. Every time I say that, I end up decluttering it the next time. Oh, this crop top. This is the only crop top that I feel is not too short. And also, it keeps it like from flying down because it has an inner flap. And then, next we have... Oh, I'm going to get rid of this. This is the I Love Topping. I love this brand that's called I Love Topping. It's from Bangkok. And it is like superb quality. Super cute, but it's a bit too tight. Like, I still can wear and breathe comfortably in it, but... I always feel like it's a bit too tight, like a bit self-conscious when I wear it, so that's not worth it. I'll get rid of this. 
along with that, let's just get rid of this other CNY dress. I kept this for a couple house moves, so I would say maybe two years. And I never worry for CNY because maybe because of COVID. So now nobody cares. You just go to your parents' house, you wear like a black t-shirt and shorts. That's honestly what I wear for Chinese New Year. It's very pretty. Maybe somebody that actually celebrates CNY will wear this. Like who actually celebrates CNY? Oh, last two items here. Like for sure, I'll be keeping this. I love this top. It is so comfortable and so flattering. And then I just have this floral dress that I will keep because it's a little bit too short but it fits me very well and super comfy. I can't really breathe. <laughs> Next chunk over here, this blue dress. I love it. I've only worn it once ever since I put it in my closet from my clothing stock to sell. So I'll keep that. Oh, this one I did wear once. I wore it to a wedding actually. Yeah, I chose this over that gold dress. Maybe I should have worn the gold dress. But anyway, this is like a jumpsuit. It's a romper which is the main reason why I'm getting rid of it because it is super secure. There is a tie, a button, a zip, and then you have to take everything out to go to the washroom. So I'm definitely going to get rid of this. It's just too tiring to wear it. I have this shirt over here that I was going to get rid of, but I tried it recently and I fit in it. So yeah, I'll keep it. This is oh a black dress that I also thought I was going to get rid of and I gave it a chance recently. It's like a long dress and it's actually quite nice on. Now this one here is my favorite t-shirt. It's also from Bangkok. That kind of like soft knitted cotton material. It's so cute and it's like pleated on the bottom. I will keep that forever. This one I had for a while. I think I got this from Taobao and it's just like a floral dress. This one I'm gonna give to my friend. I think she will like this and I just find myself not reaching for it. I've only like worn it once or maybe two times. Every time I take a chunk, I feel like, oh my gosh, I'm starting to get worried and then I turn back and see that chunk and it looks like it's growing, but I don't feel like I have more space. This is just a classic black t-shirt. No words for it. I will keep black t-shirts forever. I love this and I'll never get rid of this. Um, maybe when I feel that I look quite auntie in it because sometimes it looks nice, sometimes it looks a bit like auntie-like. And then, oh, I should get rid of this, but I'm going to allow myself one like a fantasy kind of top like i don't like wearing this out because it is off the shoulder but i love it in videos it's beautiful in videos and when nobody can see me show my shoulders that one i'll keep <laughs> this one also a shoulder problem i love this top so much and it's like super flattering it's very comfortable material very stretchy but the arm, the arm area is just a little bit too tight so i feel like my pits cannot really breathe so let's just get rid of this more t-shirts here this is like one of my favorite t-shirts i wash and i wear it and then it's all over again non-stop this one is one of the very comfy t-shirts i have a red one for this but i'll show you that later on oh i love this t-shirt but i have forgotten it exists because it's squashed with everything else and it's this like kelvin klein yeah, this is like one of the reasons why I want to declutter my closet because it has this indentation, this white color line from being squashed um, sandwich, <laughs> I guess would be a better word, among the hangers. We're kind of halfway through, I think pretty good. This is like one of my favorite t-shirts because it's so easy and not too like flare out so I can wear it with any pair of shorts. That's a definite keep. Oh, this one I had for so long, I just never wore it. It never came out from my closet. It's just like a flutter top like this. So I'm gonna get rid of this. This one here, oh. Okay, I feel like I might get rid of this pair's shorts. Cause it's like a two-piece. But the top I do really enjoy. Every time I wash it, it is getting shorter and shorter. So eventually it might not survive for long. But for now, maybe two more washes. <laughs> This is just like a very comfortable, long, but all the way elastic kind of dress that you can wear to anywhere. Very comfy. I love my t-shirt. I got rid of my black color version of this because it has a stain on it in my pajamas declutter. So I'm keeping the green one. I love this. Like I will keep this forever and maybe use it as PJs. It just says nope, which is just everything to me. Like I would buy this shirt again and again. If I know where to buy it because I feel that it is just embodies me. <laughs> oh, this is the other t-shirt that is almost as old as that nope t-shirt. I think I'm gonna get rid of this because every time I look at it, 
I just think like, oh, I don't want to wear it. But my excuse is, okay, never mind. I can wear it as pajamas because it's still very, very comfortable. But then after that, I would just try to find reasons to get rid of it. So I realized I should just do it because I don't like it. It reminds me of work. This other top, I wore it twice. It is very, very hot. <laughs> so I think I will give it two more tries. And if it's still like very like not breathable, then I'll get rid of it then. Well, some things have landed on the floor from pulling things out. This is just like a very generic top, which I will just wear it. Eventually, I might get rid of it if I'm bored of it. Oh, I love this black t-shirt. It is like a astronaut. But every time I look at it, I want to say spaceman. But it's so comfy. And then, oh, this is very comfy too. Just like a long t-shirt dress. I used to wear this to the airport all the time because it's just like comfy and the right length. But now it's starting to get shorter after each wash. Oh, this other t-shirt is the one like the Back to the Future one that I'm gonna get rid of because it reminds me of work. It just says I poke. This other t-shirt I also had for a while but it's not as bad memories because I didn't wear it for work so I'll keep it for that. Ah, this is like the only... Oh, this is a romper. Huh. Maybe eventually I will get rid of it because I'm starting to get very angry with rompers. I used to love them but now I just find like it's so tiring to strip everything just to use the washroom. This is another romper. I guess my rompers will kind of together group them together. I'm gonna keep this because I only wore it once. This dress is too big for me but I think not say like a rule but a guideline would be that whatever is too big for me I'll just keep because I'll fit in it eventually. Oh that's quite sad right? It means that I know I'll just get fatter and fatter. This top, my sister gave it to me. I've been trying to make it work because it is the softest like I wouldn't say cashmere but wooly cashmere kind of like material. It's so soft and kind of cute but it just doesn't fit the way I want it to. Like I want it to be oversized and so that I can wear like a um, sweater underneath in a cold country but it isn't. It's more like a one-time top and I cannot wear this in this country so I'll get rid of this. This dress I wore it for my friend's wedding and I really like it and it survived the wash. Yeah I don't like care for my clothes very well because I find that they should be functioning like functional for me like I don't want to have to take care of them in a nicer way you know like uh that's why I don't like branded goods okay so this is like another dress that I love it's so comfy we also have this other dress here that I've never worn so I'm just gonna let it sit around for a little bit more and see if I wear it this is Oh yeah, I think another thing that I need to do is to get rid of tops that cannot stay on my hangers. This just makes me irritated and it's just like a 10 cents crop top. I think Actually, I think my friend might enjoy it because I did give her some crop tops that wasn't this color, this cutting. But this one is longer, maybe she will like it. I'm gonna offer it all to her. And then this other piece here is a dress. This dress is uh, too big for me. But honestly, I think now it might fit me because my shoulders have gotten broader. Let's do this chunk over here. I know this dress is very nice on me. I really like it. I have another dress that's the same cutting but it's flowers. That one is because like it's a white color base. So it started to have a little bit of an edge spot. So that one I put it in the wash. If it doesn't come out as white and pure as it's supposed to look, then I'll get rid of that. And then, oh, this dress, I didn't think that I could wear it, but I tried it on recently and it's very comfortable. So I'm going to keep it. It's just like an LBD that's a little bit short. This one I love and I just cannot get rid of it. It is from the brand, oh, I cannot tell you because it's covered by the long train. So it's supposed to be like a maxi skirt, maxi dress, which I wore to Korea, wore to people's wedding. Oh, this shirt. Okay, I need to look through my white t-shirts because I find that I have too many that I'm keeping like a just-in-case as a base to wear it with like a strappy dress or top on top. And how often do I wear it that way? I don't need so many, so this is one that I'll get rid of. It is from the brand Hollister. I always thought that the bird was Aeropostale. We just have two dresses over here that are definite keeps because I really love them and they're both grey dresses. This one is another one, but in a darker shade of grey. Oh, I have another grey dress down there. 
this is a definite keep. I have like a black one that's the exact same cutting that I love. It's just like a camisole. This one is the other grey dress that is still like fitting me very well and it's very good material so I'll keep that. This one. Oh, you know what? It can go with the white top. I'm gonna get rid of this because I just don't wear like two piece often enough to keep it. I probably wear it at most once a year so I don't need to have a space for it in my closet. Oh, this top is from Dresser Bell. Uh, I wore it recently and it's not too tight even though it's a high collar so I'll just keep it since it works pretty well. This is the other one, the black color to it which I'll keep. And then I just have two tops that are good to have but if I still don't wear it soon, I think I might have to get rid of them because I haven't touched them since they came into the closet. Okay, this top over here, I love and I won't get rid of it. It is from TEMT. I thrifted this either in the States or Australia. Yeah, but I like it. So I'll keep that one. Oh, another white top. This is not like one of the top choices of white sheer underneath kind of tops that I would go for. So I'm just going to get rid of it. This one is a just like a black t-shirt. I don't really love the graphic but it's a very comfortable material. So I'll keep it for a while longer. This one is just like that dresser bell one. Those kind of like more formal tops that are good to have. And then, oh, this one is from the brand Junk. I really don't know why people name their brand like that. And it is a tad bit too tight for me so it's a keep. I think I'm starting to go into long sleeve tops. I love this. Surprisingly, I don't have a lot of long sleeve tops, but all of them I love. Okay, there's like shorts inside here, which I'll tell you why later on. So long sleeve top, they are a definite key because whatever that I don't love, I already got rid of straight away because I don't wear long sleeve tops that often in this country. This one has so much material to it, which is why I thought it was a top and put it together with them or who knows, maybe I'm just a gigantic mess. This denim shorts has like too much material and it's a little bit like tight inside here not over here but over here so it's a bit weird uh, i'm gonna get rid of it oh this is like one of my favorite tops i love it it's just like a top that you can wear to an exhibition meet your in-laws kind of top this one is a work shirt out of all the work shirts it's the only one that i'll keep because it has a polo neck to it so it's a just in case top this is the red color one of that cobalt blue shirt which I will keep and then this one is just a black t-shirt black t-shirts will be kept and this is just like a top that is quite colorful but it's actually quite cute on with this like cut out heart so <laughs> didn't think I would keep that because it's so colorful oh this is just like a black and white t-shirt that isn't sheer um, and it's from forever 21 so it's pretty good quality which is why it survived all the washing. This one is a white color thing again. And I've been trying to make this work because this is from Adidas and it's super comfortable. It has like shorts inside because it's supposed to be for tennis. That's why it looks like a sports bottom. But I don't do sports and I tried to pair this with like other shirts on top. But it never works so I don't want to work so hard for my clothing. The remaining ones I'm not going to go through because they are all jackets and my jackets have been very looked through and decluttered. This is the white t-shirt that I would go for if I were to wear a double layer top so I'll keep that one. Oh this one I've been like wanting to get something like this so I'm going to keep it even though I don't wear it that often because it is just like a in case I have a nice dress that I want to wear but it's a bit sheer. This one also, it doesn't fit that well honestly so I thought I should get rid of it but I know I need, no I know I would like to have something like this that is like a bra top. I do have a black colour option and also like a shorter white colour version which I will keep. Yeah I think I can keep because I look at my chunk and those clothes I will wear over whatever is inside there. I love this. I'm going to allow myself to keep this because I tried it over like strappy dresses and they were so cute. And I think we're getting into like the not jackets but still outerwear. Like I have a vest here that you don't really reach for often because they're outerwears but it's just nice to have. Then And this one is a lace version. Yeah, I'll keep this. I think I'm starting to get like a bit tired. That's why. Alright, I guess we're just going to do this for the shots. It kind of works because it's a lower railing. And there are things here that 
are on my to-do list like bags of new clothes over there that eventually I want to open and then over here I just like things that um, either gonna be used as racks or I'm just gonna post it on my carousel for free I just am planning to do that tomorrow <laughs> that is tomorrow let's do today's things first need to declutter some shorts this one let's get rid of this never thought that I would because I love this so much that I had one and it became kind of short so I bought another one or oh, I took it out from my stock this is from Taobao I love it but it just always is a bit too short for me and it is like a stiff flouncy material so I feel like it flies up not at the front but the back because you know so there's not a lot of cloth left at the bottom so I'm just gonna get rid of this oh so much easier to put it this way Denim shorts I always wear so I'll just keep. This one is most of my denim shorts I think I don't even need to check. They're mostly from American Eagle Outfitters. Something like that. I don't know why the shorts that I thrift are always that. This is just a light blue color. Yes, this is the same brand but in like a dark color. We also have a white pair of denim shorts that I am surprised is still in my closet because it is white in color. But it surprisingly is very comfortable so when I get sick of it because it's white color, then it'll go. And then I have this black shorts. Oops. This black shorts here. Oh, this is the bottom to that t-shirt that is from Paradigm Shift. Um, I've been keeping it forever because my friend gave it to me, but I just never wore it because it doesn't fit me that well. This is like too much cloth over here, but then over here is a bit too not stretchy, so I'm gonna get rid of this. This is another pair of black shorts that is around the same length as this white one. So if I were to get rid of them, I would get rid of them together. But for now, they still do work. <laughs> this is just like all black. Like I have no idea what they are. This is the one with a cobalt blue picking through. I love it. And then this one is, oh, this one is like, it used to be a dress. And then my mom helped me chop it off. And now it's just like a shorts that I love to wear as safety inner shorts underneath dresses and then we have this denim shorts over here this one I had for a while it is from Victoria Beckham is she still married to him or was it like the Jennifer Aniston one that cheated I'm not sure but anyway I'm not gonna keep this because I find that it is a <laughs> getting a bit shorter and shorter because I washed it this other black shorts oh I love this my sister just gave it to me and it is like slightly high-waisted I have this pair of black shorts here which works as like a inner piece when I am wearing a short dress or just like a normal generic shorts. Another denim shorts, I'm gonna keep this one since it's more recent and I know I can fit in it. It's probably from American Eagle again. This one I'm gonna give it one last shot because I find that the material is a bit flouncy again so it feels like there's a lot of air underneath which makes me a bit insecure. Is it like flying up? Is people is it like people able to see what is happening? So I'm gonna keep it and try again. This pair of shorts, I actually wear it very often for massages because it is elastic so it doesn't hurt me when I'm lying flat down. And then this, oh this is from Forever 21. It is actually like a pair of jeans and I cropped it to wear it as shorts. Because I thought that that would help the tightness but it didn't. It's still a little bit, just a tad bit too tight for me. So I'm just gonna get rid of that. Oh and this other one, very very high waisted shorts. Very difficult to pair things with it because it's like very fluttery over here and very high waisted and colourful at the same time. But I'm gonna keep it because I don't have a lot of high waisted stuff. This chunk here I'm not gonna talk about because they literally just came into the closet. Uh, I bought it in Bangkok, but let's just talk about this last chunk and then we're done for the day. I have this pair of white shorts. It is elastic and it's really good for when I'm wearing like the double layer one and then I just pop this underneath so that it's all white except for the piece that I want it to stand out. This other white shorts, I know like why are you keeping white stuff but this is actually very comfortable and it's lace. I love lace, especially white lace. Okay. Things just gave up. This is another one of my lazy pants, uh, like Sunday pants when I go to my mom's house. So I don't want to deal with buttons and zips, I just want elastic. This one used to be my favorite shorts and I'm trying not to wear it that often anymore because I love it that much. It's that comfortable 
three double material. That's two pair of shorts. Let's see this one. I love this. My friend gave it to me and it is like slightly high waisted. So I remember she gave it to me and then I wore it to JB together with her too. Oh, this pair of shorts is red in color. I'm gonna get rid of that straight away. It is from Abercrombie. Yes, Abercrombie and Fitch. I can't show you, so that is all. I think I forgot to show you the before, but I'll show you my get rid of power. But there's like space here. Let's see up there. Up here, you know, it was like I couldn't even push. Now I have so much more space. Okay, I don't know what dance that was, but this is my get rid of pow. Not my Pikachu, but this. Yay! Okay, and I counted it up. I'm getting rid of 34. I think it's correct. <laughs> I think I did a correct counting, and I think I counted correctly, and I'm keeping like 90 plus. So a quarter of my closet is going away. 